you obviously, uh, me and you, we worked together at Castle for Tigers Women throughout the 2019 campaign. You saw, you know, with your own two eyes, the growth of the game. I mean, the first game we covered was away in York. We were at York yeah. St. John's University, maybe, you know, yeah. 100, 200 people there. And we finished by uh, covering the grand final. Uh, I mm-hmm. can't remember the amount of people there. Was it four, 3,000 people there yeah. uh, on Sky Sports? I mean, with your own two eyes, you saw the growth. What did you make of it? Oh, amazing. It was so great to see it. Yeah, like you said, going from 100, 200 just in a season to, you know, playing at the Totally Wicked. And obviously at Cass, it was great because they all got to play all the games at the Jungle, the home games. And remember when we used to see the fans and it was like every time it kind of went 500, 700, let's make it to 1,000. And then we got for the league leaders, they got like well over 1,000 in it. It was amazing. And people coming were saying, this is great rugby. This is not, I think, you know, some people might be like, oh, it's women. But trust me, those girls can hit hard. They're very talented. It's such entertaining rugby. There is no reason why you want to, want to get yourselves down to watch it. And I know COVID's happened, but I really don't think it's going to affect it. I think people are going to be, if anything, more eager to watch it. If you've seen the build-up for this season, it's been re- it's been the best I've ever seen it. Like Compared to 2019, it feels a lot more um, uh, broadcast everywhere. And also, I think with the World Cup coming up, that's also helped amplify it as well a lot. So I just think it's only going to get bigger. I don't think that COVID will affect it. I think people's going to watch it, want to watch it more. No, I think you're totally right. I mean, I remember 2016 before the first ever Women's Super League. We might have got an article in, in a local paper or something like that. And I mean, this week was incredible. I'm, I'm looking mm-hmm. at Sky Sports. The Golden Point podcast is all about the Women's Super League. I'm looking at BBC Radio Leeds. It's covered all over the Women's uh, Super League. All the you know, Daily Star, even newspaper had something out. It's mental, isn't it? Oh, yeah, absolutely. And uh, Giants were actually on Look North last night as well. Um, Tanya Arnold came down and spoke to um, a few of the players. And I think, like, yeah, it's, it's a big change. Like, I saw an interview that talks about how it's gone from, like, it's crazy to go from, like, community to this. But it's positive change. And these girls deserve to be on, in the spotlight. And they deserve to be recognised, you know, across the league. Super talented players. And what I also like about it is, yeah, the girls are playing against each other. But there's a great atmosphere. And it feels very friendly. Like, I know um, Danica was uh, co-hosting the Radio Leeds. And she was speaking to all the players and it was like, yeah, good luck. You know, like that professionalism to be like, yeah, we are, you know, on separate teams, but good luck and everyone sporting everyone. And, you, and that's kind of is the nature of rugby league. It's community. You don't sit there and kind of speak down about any other teams, you know, and especially women's sport. I always notice that everyone wants to do everyone. Everyone wants everyone to do well because women sporting women is such a big thing. <laughs> Thank you.